This one here? Yeah, okay. Alright, so here we go. So this is that one. We went four to the right and down two, and we inverted it. There's regular, there's the graph. Alright, question? Okay, if they just gave us the graph, how would we know that it equals the equation? You have to know that that graph, when it looks like that, is a cubic that that is a cubic graph, that it looks like a parabola. From here, this way, looks like a parabola, and this one looks like a parabola. It's like this is half of y equals x squared, and this is half of y equals negative x squared. That half and that half. That all, that's always what a cubic looks like. But how do we get the numbers? Oh, now, if you wanted specific numbers, you would have to do a t-chart. You would have to plug in... 1 and plug in 2 and plug in 3 and you get big numbers but that that would give you more a more accurate graph this is just kind of in that red line won't erase uh, <laughs> you uh, this is just kind of in generalities and that's as much detail as I'm going to ask if you get that right there I'm happy you get the turning point right and you tell me it's down on the right and up on the left I'm happy okay good question we got one more thing to talk about. So basically, if there's a negative in front, it's going to go up, down. It's going to be up on the left, going up on the left, and down on the right. Every single time. Every single time. Because if you go back to this one, right, if you go back to this one, right, they're standard, right? And if I put a negative out front, if A is negative, then it always looks like that. Always, always, always. Got it? Good questions. All right, let's go back. This is the last thing, combined. We don't have to worry about factored. All right, what is this talking about? Vertical stretch. A stretch. This is our standard narrower and wide. That's Write this down. Way. A vertical stretch. And the best way I can describe this, Chester, you're right. Okay, look like you had your head down. You're good. The best way I can describe a vertical stretch is if you were to grab a rubber band on two ends and pull it away from you, it would stretch. Right? So watch. There's, there's standard. If A is greater than 1, we typically say what? With a parabola, what do we say? Standard narrow Y. We say narrower. Right? If A is greater than 1, we say narrow. Watch the graph. Everybody's eyes up here. Watch what happens when A is greater than 1. It just narrows up some. See how narrow it's getting? It's stretching. We say that's a vertical stretch. What about this one? When a, is in, hold on, when a is in between 0 and 1, like 0.5, what do you think is going to happen there? It's going to be wider. Watch. See how it's wider? And I, I don't know what we're going to use for letters. You know, I might, I might have you say vertical stretch for this one when it, when it is vertically stretched. But I don't know what we're going to call that one. I mean, we could say wider, okay, because it does kind of look wider, just like a parabola would be wider. But I'm not exactly sure what we're going to call that yet. Okay? Questions? Yes? No. We could put we could put a letter in front of some of those other ones and move the turning point. Okay? So let's do a few examples. Let's do a few examples. Let's see if this opens up correctly. One more thing to talk about. Don't let me forget. Even and odd over there. Come on, come on, come on. It is. Shh. Give it just a second. I don't want it to take so long. All right, here we go. Uh, close this out. Close that out. Close that out. Let's go view. Zoom. 100%. There we go. All right. So, typical problem in your homework, y equals uh, negative one-half x cubed. I'm just going to say graph. Okay. First thing that you need to figure out is the turning point. What is the turning point for this one? Zero, zero. zero. There's nothing on the inside and there's nothing on the outside. Okay. So, our turning point is at zero, zero right there. All right. Now what? Now we look at A. What is A in this case? Negative one half. So I know that it's going to go down over here and it's going to go up over here. Okay, I could do a small T chart if I wanted to. But if I memorize that, 
then I don't have to fool with the T chart. I know that every time it's negative, it's going to go down on the right, up on the left. What does the one half tell us? It's going to be, it's going to be a little wider. So watch. This is as much detail as you have to give me. Just a little bit wider. Later on, I may add a word or something there, but that's it. That's all you have to do. You want us to do it right one at a time. Raise your hand. Yes. Do you still want us to write the letter? Not yet. Maybe later, but right now, I'm not. You, there's no letter needed. Anybody else have a question? That was a good one. Right now, you don't have to put a letter. You just make it a little wider. I'll be happy. All right. Let's do another. So here we go. Y equals 4 thirds x plus 2 cubed uh, minus 1. Now, if I had asked you when you walked in the door to graph this, could you have graphed it? Yes. No. Are you going to know it two weeks from now how to graph it? Yes. Only if you study. Only if you study. If you go home and study every night. 30 minutes. Whether you see me that day or not, you need to be studying how to graph cubics. Because what's going to happen on Wednesday? What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about cubics? No. no we're going to move on. We're going to talk about graphing radicals. Okay? Graphing y equals the square root of x. You're going to be expected to know how to graph this. All right? Where's the turning point? First question. Where is it? Negative 2 and? Positive 1. No, negative 2, negative 1. Negative 2, negative 1. Opposite, same. Opposite, same. Negative 2, negative 1. There's your turning point. A is what? It's positive, and it is also what? Greater than 1. So what does that tell me? That it's going to be narrower. It's going to go up on the right, down on the left, and it's going to be a little bit narrower. Up on the right, down on the left, a little bit narrower. And that's it. And that's all the detail that I'm looking for from you on graphing a cubic. Let's talk one more time. As x approaches infinity, what is y doing? As x approaches infinity, as it goes to the right, what is y doing? Approaching infinity. It's also approaching infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, what is y doing? Approaching infinity. It's also going to negative infinity. That's in behavior. That's what we say is in behavior. Any other question? I saw a hand up. Chester? Maybe. I, I'm not there yet. I'm not, I, I don't want to call it standard narrow wide. I've got to talk to the ninth grade teachers that teach this all the time. This is the first time I've ever taught cubics, graphing cubics. Um, it used to be like a trig standard. It, it's not, not very, this is new teaching this to ninth graders. And so I've never taught it before. And so just this, the letter, I'm not exactly sure what I want to call it, but I'll let you know that. Wednesday or you know the end of the week. Yes. So you don't want to talk to the middle of the graph? Right here, zero, zero? No. Only if it doesn't if it doesn't shift. If it doesn't have a horizontal or vertical shift. Would there ever be like an axis? Would you ever want us to tell you like an axis of symmetry? No. Not needed. No axis of symmetry. Alright? Last thing. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Oh, let's try it again. There we go. All right. The last thing. Even and odd. Write this down. You need this in your notes. We can describe functions as either being even or we can say that they're odd. It doesn't, you think it has something to do with the exponent, but it doesn't. The definition of even is that it is symmetrical about the y-axis. It is symmetrical about the y-axis. Remember, this is our y-axis. It cuts the parabola right down the middle. Then this is symmetrical about the y-axis. We say that it is an even function. Even. Odd, on the other hand, what's the graph of y equals x cubed look like? Uh, Where's the turning point? Zero zero. Zero, zero, zero. zero, zero. Where's it going up? On the right. On the right. Where's it going down? On the left. On the left. Okay. I need to calibrate this dots a little more. This 
is odd. What do you think it is symmetrical about? It starts with an O. No, not the x-axis. The origin. Write that down. What is the origin? Zero. Even and odd. Even functions are symmetrical about the y-axis. Odd functions are symmetrical about the origin. Question. If this vertical point wasn't zero, zero, it was like It would still be odd. I could change that, move it around, and it would still be odd, meaning that it has that center point and it's symmetrical. Okay? We'll get more into this later. We'll do some examples. You'll, and it you gotta see some examples. What an even one looks like, what an odd one looks like. Questions? Alright, hit record for me and hand it to me.